What's going on my friend Nick Anderson here and I appreciate you for watching this video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own custom funnel for uh, My Lead System Pro. Now if you're not on board with My Lead System Pro and you're watching this video, I'll get back to the person that shared this video with you and get started through them because what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to create a funnel promoting uh, MLSP that's going to convert like crazy for you because a lot of people ask me, they say, you know, if I join, do I have to make my own sales video? You know, I want to earn an additional stream of income with MLSP but uh, I don't know how to make videos I don't know how to explain things uh, you don't even have to worry because I made a sales video uh, that's gonna help convert sales for you and I'm gonna show you step by step in this video how to create your own funnel uh, with the capture page and the sales page even the thank you page um, if you want to customize this even further so the very first step would be to log into your uh, MLSP account okay and inside of your account you're gonna see on the dashboard where it says my websites now all you need to do just click MLSP Funnelizer, it's going to bring up this page right here, and uh, you just click Launch MLSP Funnelizer, okay? And uh, once you're inside of your account, the very first step is to insert your videos into your media, okay? Now, in the upper right where it says Settings, just click the little drop-down tab and click Media, and it's going to bring up the section where you can upload photos or videos, okay? Now, all I do is I click Videos, and I click Add New Video, okay? Now, what you're going to want to do is name the video MLSP Sales video so you know what it is okay now video link okay so now on this video that you're on right now on YouTube you're gonna see in the description below I posted a few different links for you there uh, to get access to this video but all it is is it's a link on YouTube now when you click that link in the description below if you go down and you click show more it's gonna show the links okay and then you're gonna just gonna want to copy the YouTube URL up here copy it go back into your media and paste the link right there okay now MLSP sales video I'm pretty sure I already have a name of that so I just click save video and it's gonna see the video was saved okay now all I need to do is in the upper left just click funnelizer it's gonna bring you back to the dashboard and now the very first step is just to create your funnel okay so I click create funnel name the funnel I'm just do MLSP okay I'm gonna name it MLSP right here put that and then click create my funnel uh, hold on looks like I already have one name that so I'm just gonna change the name just name yours MLSP and then you should be good because it's your first one then you click create funnel and it uh, brings up this page okay now your page name you're gonna want to put capture page for this one and um, where it says page slug <laughs> just put CP for short and uh, you should be good to go okay now what you're gonna want to do right here is select page type all templates click this and click opt-in pages now it's gonna sort the pages for you and a good page that converts very well is this one right here the Google map opt-in then all you have to do is click use template scroll up to the top and click save page and edit now it's gonna bring up the entire editor and um, I'm gonna show you what to input for the text right here okay now you want to leave you know alert now available to people in your area leave that um, this is where you're going to change this right here. So all you have to do is just click this whole thing, drag it, and you're going to want to insert this text right here, okay? Now, hold on one second. Let me do this. Okay, see where it says, let me show you how to exactly build a following of over 46,000 on Instagram, get 4,293 leads, and make 10,000 per month in your business without chasing friends and family, handing out business cards to strangers, and you know prospecting random people everywhere you go. So to spice this up a little bit, you're gonna want to um, highlight some stuff. So this right here, 46,000 on Instagram, and then you click foreground color, change it to red. It looks a lot better, okay? Now get 4,293 leads, you're gonna wanna underline that, and uh, where it says 10,000 per month, you're gonna wanna change that color to red. Now once you do that, the next step would be to change this where it says warning, 12 minute video exposes their truth. You're gonna to wanna to insert this text right here, okay? Let me, give me a second to copy this and paste this in here. Okay, this says, you know, yes it's for real, pay very close attention to the next page, okay? Now what you're gonna to wanna to do here is where it says enter your email address, click that, and then click on the right hand side, edit form fields, okay? Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is put enter your best email address and the reason why you put this it is a slight difference it's just psychology you guys so people aren't going to be putting in fake emails you don't want people entering fake information right so you just do that and then you click close and now um, make sure to save your page right here up in the upper right now click save changes and the reason why is because if you click the button 
it reloads the page and if you didn't save it it's going to reload it back to its original setting so it's just a little glitch right there and i was kind of frustrated trying to figure it out but that's how you get it you just always want to save your changes so it kind of bookmarks it and it's like a progress point okay now where it says free lifetime access on the right hand side how you change the button is you just double click this and you type in get here let me type this send info now send info is a good call to action on the button just because it's nonchalant. It's not like watch the video, it's just send info. People are like, okay, you know, I'll definitely do that. And if you wanna spice this up a little bit, go ahead and open up a new tab and type in Google and type in symbol, okay? Symbol and just push enter. And you're gonna to wanna to click this link right here and uh, you can add little emojis or whatever you want inside of the button or inside of the text. But one that works pretty well and looks pretty cool are these little hand symbols right here, okay? So I copy one of those. I come back here, I'm gonna paste it right next to it, okay? And you can see that enters it right in there and it kind of gives a little outline of little like, you know, finger pointing at it, which looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna come back, grab the other one, copy that, pointing in the opposite direction and then paste that right there. And see, that looks clean, you guys, that looks pretty good. So at this point, you know, you're pretty good. Make sure to save changes just so, you know, it bookmarks it. And then um, also you're gonna wanna click this tab on the right that says edit integrations. Now, this is how you integrate it with your own autoresponder. This isn't required, uh, but it's something that's gonna allow you to brand yourself even further. If you haven't been the, through the start here training inside of uh, your MLSP account, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you go through that training because it's gonna show you how to link up your own autoresponder uh, with the funnelizer and to uh, get that all set up. Now, personally, I use Aweber and I recommend using Aweber just because they have a free 30 day trial uh, that you can use it and set it up. And um, if you haven't created your email autoresponder uh, beneath this video, inside of the description, you're gonna see a link to Aweber uh, where you can click that, uh, go to it, create your free account for 30 days and um, you know be able to implement it into this right here. So once you follow the step-by-step -step training, the tutorials on how to do it, inside of this, you're just gonna click the drop down tab and select you know Aweber or your autoresponder, select the integration point. This is your list name that you're gonna be adding subscribers to when they opt in. So I just select MLSP and uh, all I have to do to add it is click add new integration, okay? And it adds it. Then I click close. Now, pretty much at this point, you guys, this page is all done. Now, one additional step that's going to help you, um, you know, increase conversions on your page is to insert a pop-up message. And how you do that is on the right-hand side where it says page properties. Just click that. Scroll down. Don't you don't need to worry about the SEO settings and all this stuff. I haven't messed around with this. But where it says page exit actions, uh, you're going to want to click enable pop-up message right here. Okay. Now, here's a message that you're going to want to enter. Now, I'm going to go up. And I'm going to pull up my uh, my capture page, masterattractionmarketing.com. If I exit off the page, you're going to see what it tries to do. It says this, read before you exit. And you guys can read this right here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, copy it, okay, come back, and I'm going to paste it right in there. Now, if you guys want to know what this says, just rewind the video, pause it, and then you can type this out word for word. The reason why this works so well is if someone comes to your page and they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to enter in my info. I see it requests the email address. They click exit. This pop-up message is going to show up and they're going to be like, okay, well, yeah, I guess I'm not making 10 grand per month in my business. I'm going to put in my info. So they're going to click stay on page and they're going to enter in their email address. Okay. So now at this point, this page is completely done. You're just gonna click save changes in the upper right and then publish changes. Now all you need to do is just click close editor. Now the next page that you guys are gonna to wanna to create is the sales page. So all you do is click add new page. The page name is sales page. And then the page slug, I just put SP for short. And then um, all you're gonna to wanna to do is sort, click sales pages. Um, let's see here, scroll down. Um, you guys can do a long form sales page if you want to customize this yourself, but just for the uh, sake of this video, keeping this uh, kind of short for you, um, in the bottom left, this page works pretty well. I just click use template. It's the simple video sales, okay? And then I scroll up, I click save page and edit. It's going to bring up the uh, editor. And uh, because you guys took the time to put in your video um, inside of your media, all you have to do is just click the little video link. And on the right hand side where it says video selection, you can, add, you can put in the video right here. So I have a lot of videos, but you guys are gonna just see one video right there. You're gonna wanna select it and everything. And once you select it, there, let me just select a random video, okay? You can auto start the video. And I recommend selecting this, having that checked. Uh, so when people go to the page, it automatically starts playing if they're on their computer, okay? Now the up at uh, the top where it says product or presenter name, click that. And on the right hand side, click hide. So you don't want that there. Okay, now this right here, the button, we're gonna work on this. Okay, see so where it says regular price, click that. Then on the right, click hide. Where it says click here to add to cart, click that. Then click hide on the right. And um, 
you guys can go ahead and uh, leave all these little things at the bottom right here, safe, secure, you know, payment. Um, now you're gonna wanna edit the button. So all you do is click here to add to cart and on the right hand side, I would put get started in all caps. Okay, and now to spice this up a little bit, go back to the symbols, copy those little hand gesture things right there and uh, go ahead and paste those right into this. Let me go back, grab the other one. This just that makes it a little bit cooler, you guys, you know, as opposed to just get started with nothing. See how clean that looks? Like that that would compel me to want to click it right there. And if you guys want to, you can even edit the color of the button where it says button appearance. Just play around with this. If you uh, don't want to mess around with that, you can just leave it. It's just like personal preference. If you guys, you know, are designers or whatever, uh, graphic design, you like, you know, making stuff look more appealing, you can do that. Okay. Now, the very last step right here would be to insert your sign up link when they click the button. Okay. Now, in, on the right hand side, uh, where it says actions, select an action. See how it says do nothing? You're gonna wanna click the drop down tab and click go to URL, okay? Now scroll down and it's gonna say enter the custom URL. Now what I'm gonna wanna do is log back in to my MLSP account on another tab. So you didn't just open new tabs here and where it says my websites, click MLSP campaigns, okay? Now it's gonna bring up this page, just scroll down where it says, um, let me find it mastery sales page this one right here all you're going to do is click the little magnifying glass icon and it's going to bring up uh, the sales page right here okay now you're not going to want to send them to this link because they just got done watching the sales video that i made what you're going to want to do let me pause this real quick is scroll down and where it says mlsp mastery for the ten dollar trial click add to cart and it's going to bring up uh, the sales page that you want to send people to. Okay, now you're going to notice at the top, see how it says mlmleadsystempro.com slash order slash get mastery slash Nick Anderson 1068. All you're going to want to do is copy your link. It's going to have your username at the end. Just copy that. So let me do that really quick. Copy it. Go back into the page editor and where it says select an action, you just paste the link right there. Okay, so this is making sure that when they click the link, they're going to sign up through your personal link and you earn the commissions for that. Okay, now at this point, this is all done and I'm just going to click save changes, publish changes, and then uh, close the editor. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure this is uh, one final step, you guys. You're going to want to link these two pages together because notice how I just pasted this link right here. At, on the button for the sales page, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when they enter in their information on your capture page, it directs them to the sales page. So all you have to do for this step is just copy the sales page link. So you copy that. Now where it says capture page on the right hand side, click the drop down editor and click edit page. It's gonna bring you back into the editor and um, just wait for this to load really quick. And once it's loaded, all you gotta do is click the button. Oh, it looks like it changed it. Hold on one second, I'll change that back. Select an action. Go to URL, paste the URL right there. Okay, once that's pasted, click Save Changes. Okay, now I'm gonna change the button again because for some reason I guess that glitched out. So let me see here, send info. And uh, if you guys want to, you can paste the little symbols in right there. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right here, but I just click Save Changes, Publish Changes. There we go, close editor, it's good to go. Now, all you need to do to publish your funnel, make it live is click Variation 1 in the upper left and then click Start Variation. Then on the right hand side, click Publish Funnel and you guys are completely done. The funnel's all created. Okay, now we're gonna see how this looks. I'm just gonna copy my capture page link. I'm gonna copy it. I'm going to open it up in a new tab and see how this looks, okay? Now you see, it looks really clean, you guys. And based on their location, this little map feature is gonna show like nearby cities and everything around them, okay? Which is really cool. So it's a you know unique experience on a person-to-person -person basis. But right here, let's test this out, okay? So I'm just gonna put in my email address and click send info, okay? And now all it's gonna do is it's gonna take me to the sales video and the sales video is gonna automatically start playing. Now if they decide to get started, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna click the get started tab and um, it's gonna take them directly to your order page right here and um, they're opted into your email list on Aweber you guys and in future videos I'm going to be showing you um, step by step how you can create you know your autoresponder messages and um, how you should be following up with your leads on a consistent basis because like Eric Roy says you know it takes four to six exposures before someone will make a decision to buy you know when you start driving traffic to your capture page and uh, they start entering their information you know you're going to want to make sure you follow up with them now if you're using Aweber um, you're going to do that through the email messages if you're just using MLSP's autoresponder inside of your account you're gonna see where it says uh, let me see here my leads 
new the prospects right here or my leads you can click that and you're gonna have all their contact information so that's just how you guys set up your own funnel um, that's gonna convert very very well now if you guys want to take in this to an additional step and uh, make it more personal with your own video um, I'm gonna I want to show you guys in this next section uh, how to customize it even further and add in you know your own uh, video for the thank you page so um, let me just give you guys an example right here Okay, so this step right here, you guys, is optional. You don't have to do it, but I highly recommend it because it's gonna allow you to build more rapport and to build a stronger relationship with people. You know, when they put in their information on your capture page, you want them to know that they're joining through you, right? You don't want them to think they're joining through me, even though you put in your own signup link underneath the Get Started uh, tab on the sales page. How you make this a little bit more personal so it builds more rapport and it builds a stronger relationship is by making your own video, okay? Now, the very first step, you guys don't have to worry about, you know, having the nicest camera I'm just filming this video on my phone you know if you have a smartphone uh, make sure that you record it in horizontal mode instead of in vertical mode just so it pans out the whole picture and you don't have these weird like you know black marks on the side of uh, or these black squares on the side of the screen it just looks more professional so that's just like video 101 but what you're gonna want to say inside of your video is very very simple you guys number one you're gonna want to tell them who you are you know what's your name uh, also where you're from and a little bit of background about yourself, uh, your story, maybe uh, you know some success that you've had in the industry, and also, very important, you guys, some struggles that you've had. And uh, last but not least, you guys, you're gonna wanna make sure that you edify me, okay? And give a strong call to action to click the link below. Now, the reason why you're gonna edify me isn't to boost my ego or anything like that. I don't need the edification, you guys. What it does is it plays a psychological role to where they're not thrown off when they're watching the sales video of me, and also, it'll make them more inclined to listen to what I have to say. See, the better job you do at edifying uh, me for the next video, the more attention that they're gonna pay to the sales video. Now, if you don't edify me at all, they're not gonna really pay attention. I'm gonna give you guys an example uh, and a run through on how this all works and just show you guys how you can make a video, okay? So let me just give you an example of what I would do, okay? So I would say something like this. What's going on, my friend, Nick Anderson here. You know, I appreciate you for putting in your information on my page. And uh, what I'm gonna be showing you throughout the course of this video and in the next video, when you click the link below, is how to build a following for yourself online. You know, how to generate a lot of leads uh, to whatever business that you're doing. And you know, how to earn an additional stream of income on top of what you're currently doing. But you know, my background, you guys, you know, my name's Nick Anderson, I'm 23 years old. You know, right now I'm out here in Bozeman, Montana. And um, you know, I'm excited to be shooting this video for you because uh, I've been with this industry, you guys, you know, for about three years now, and um, you know, been able to live my dreams. You know, I'm retired from corporate America. You know, I'm able to travel, do what I want when I want with who I want and uh, it wasn't always like that though in the beginning you know I struggled big time inside of my business you know I was always searching uh, for the secret you know I was chasing down friends family members I was passing out business cards to strangers and shopping malls and um, you know I burnt through my warm market very very quickly so I started stumbling around online looking for information on how I could build a successful business you know and earn a full-time income using the in internet you guys and some information that I discovered you know I'm gonna show uh, you and I'm gonna teach you how to do this now I, I stumbled across this guy his name was actually uh, Nick Anderson it's kind of funny I'm talking about myself but you know his name's Nick Anderson and uh, you know he's been with this industry for about three years and I, I found him on YouTube you guys and he um, showed me some information that allowed me to automate my business on social media and uh, generate a lot of leads to what I'm doing and when you click the link beneath this video on the other side he's gonna walk you through step by step everything that he's taught me and uh, how you can start applying it into your business I mean this guy is a beast at what he does you know he's a master with attraction marketing and he's gonna show you you know how you can apply this stuff into your business. So go ahead and click the link below and I will see you on the next video. So something like that, you guys, that was a little bit rough, obviously. You know, if I did a few more takes and I'd be able to get a good solid video, but you just want to make sure you have a little bit about yourself, who you are, your background, you know, a little bit about your story, some success that you've had. Um, more importantly, your struggles, your failures that you went through. And the reason why you're doing that is because it relates with their struggles and um, it's going to hit home with them. They're going to be like, holy crap, I went through that same thing. And then also you're gonna edify me, you know, show them what I'm gonna be teaching them, how to generate more leads, produce more sales, become you know, master at attraction marketing, and then give them a call to action to click the link below to see the video on the other side. Now, when you guys do that, it's gonna be more personal. And it's gonna let them know that, okay, this is this person's capture page, but they're leveraging you know, Nick Anderson's value, okay? Now that's just video 101. If you guys wanna um, do your own method with it, you can just apply that short little format for your own videos. But I'm gonna show you how you can 
link this up inside of the thank you page right now. All right, so after you guys are done filming your thank you video, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to insert it into your media. So just like I showed you in step one, when you're copy and pasting the YouTube URL, upload it to YouTube, then just paste it inside of your media. So when that's good to go, go back into the editor where you see you know, your capture page and sales page, and all you're gonna click is add new page right here. And it's gonna bring up this, enter in the page name, just put thank you page, okay? And then uh, I'll just put thank you for short, okay? Now you're gonna to wanna to click the templates and click thank you pages, and then use this template right here where it says, you know, upsell thank you page. And then you're just gonna click save page and edit, and it's gonna bring up uh, the editor right here. So give that a second to load. All right, so right here where it says congrats you're in, you're gonna to wanna to change up this text a little bit. So I've already done this right here. I'm just gonna copy this text. And if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video, you can copy and paste this. It says your free training is on its way to your email inbox right now before you go check out the video below, okay? So I'm gonna wanna bold some stuff. So free training, let me click this again, drag, and then bold that. Email inbox right now, I'm gonna wanna italicize that. And then where it says check out the video below, I'm gonna wanna underline that, okay? So it stands out a little bit more and makes it look a little bit better, oops. Open that, okay, right here with the video, all you do is you click the video, and then video, no video display, you're gonna wanna insert in your video. So you know, I'll select one where I have, and auto start the video too, make sure that's selected, okay? Now you're gonna wanna scroll down where it says regular price, click that, click hide, click here to buy now, hide that. If you guys wanna do this a little bit quicker on the left-hand side, see where it says these right here? All you're gonna wanna do is hide the footer, see where it says container, click this little drop-down tab so it opens it all up, and you're gonna to wanna to hover over the sections right here and just hide each of them, okay? Now, where it says button, extend that, extend it all the way, and where it says, you know, secure text, hide that, payment options, hide that. You want, the reason why you're hiding those is because you don't want them to think that they're buying something right up front, you know? You just want them to see this video, and then uh, right here, you know, they're gonna click this button. So all you do, save changes first so it doesn't glitch out, and then, um, give me a second, click the button, and on the right-hand side, I would put watch next video in all caps. And if you want to, you can insert in those little hand symbols right there pointing uh, that'll point to watch next video to make it look a little bit better. So go ahead and do that. And uh, if you want to, the page properties as well, go ahead and insert the pop-up message too. So if they try and exit off this page as well, you know it's gonna request them to stay on it to watch the video. So you guys can type whatever you want here, or you can just copy and paste what you used for the capture page, okay? Once you're done with this, just click save, save changes, publish changes, then close the editor. Now you're gonna wanna link these up and um, change the links a little bit around just because you're making this more custom with your own video right here. So once this is done loading, okay, so right here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the link for the thank you page right here. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go into my capture page, click edit page, and when they click the button uh, to see what's on the other side, I'm gonna change that link up, okay? So all I gotta do is I gotta click send info, click the button, on the right hand side where it says go to URL, I just paste the link to the thank you page. Okay, once that's done, save save changes, publish changes, close the editor, and then uh, you're gonna wanna link the sales page to the thank you page. Now this is really simple, you guys, you know, um, you might be a little overwhelmed right now. It's Even though I'm showing you this step by step, you're gonna get pretty quick with linking these stuff up, um, and it'll just be like second nature to you, okay? So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the link to the sales page right here, go to the thank you page, let me find it. I was messing around with this earlier, but this is the thank you page right here. I click edit page. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste the link to the sales page inside of uh, the thank you page button. So in order to do that, wait for this to get done loading. And then um, I click the button where it says watch next video. On the right hand side, I scroll down where it says actions, select action, go to URL. And then I just paste that link right here, okay? Save changes, publish changes. Now, that's all done, okay? Close editor. Now, your entire funnel right now, you guys, is all done. It's all linked up. Once you have this set up, your main focus is driving people to your capture page. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit more personal, you can go ahead and copy your capture page, go to GoDaddy and uh, buy a domain name, and go ahead and forward your domain to your capture page right here, so it makes it more personal. So as an example, if I type in masterattractionmarketing.com, I forwarded that to my, uh, funnelizer page, my capture page right here. When they put in their information, it takes them to my thank you page and then my sales video right here. So
So if you guys want to learn how to forward the domain uh, to GoDaddy, just go ahead in the description beneath this video. You guys are going to see all the links. You're going to see the link to uh, my sales video, so you can copy and paste that. You're going to see the link to Aweber to create your email autoresponder account uh, for free for the first month. And then um, you're also going to see the link uh, to learn how you can forward your own domain names. But with that being said, you guys, I hope you got value out of this video. Um, send this to every single person that gets started with your team so they know how to set up their own funnel and they can use this step-by-step -step tutorial. But with that, you guys, I, I appreciate you for watching this video. I will see you on the next tutorial video.